project behind, um, which is an 1890 um, Manchester, Sheffield and Lincoln um, railway uh, carriage. It's quite unique this one, there's only a couple left now in existence. Uh, I think one's uh, down at um, on the Great Central Railway and there's another one at another Hedges Railway. Uh, but this is probably the, the, the star piece because it's a, a, three, a three compartment and brake band um, which, uh, which is quite uh, unique. It's been a, a real project because uh, it's had a pretty chequered life. Uh, this uh, carriage ran on the, on the Manchester and Sheffield Railway uh, until about uh, 1900. Uh, when it all became Great Central. Uh, from then it ran on the Great Central lines until 19, uh, well, 1945-ish, uh, when it was re retired. Uh, at that stage it was 55 years old, so it was pretty well uh, finished at that stage, but uh, it then moved to a, a small um, Heritage Railway uh, called Easington and they, they ran it for a couple of three years until they went bust basically. And it stood outside for then ten years uh, just merrily rotting away and, uh, and eventually it was uh, rescued by the Railway Preservation Society and put under cover uh, for uh, future renovation. We got it, uh, Chase Water, I think about the beginning of the 70s and it was at that stage uh, given a, a, a renovation and um, there, are, there are pictures if you go on the Chase Water website which show it actually being used um, for passenger services here but unfortunately uh, it was vandalised it was vandalised uh, in the in the 70s and it was actually set fire and it was partially burnt out. The section behind me here was the worst part um, and it was rebuilt at that stage um, but the ravages of time and being left outside it's uh, again succumbed to um, deterioration and so now we are uh, we are giving it a a, a, a full renovation to try and bring it back to something like it was when it was first built. Uh, it's a big project and you never quite know what you're going to find. So even a small job that you think you can do, uh, like fitting a door lock for instance, often involves you eventually having to replace part of the frame and, uh, and it can can take quite a long time which is frustrating. This was in a particularly bad state. Um, a lot of the panelling had, had rotten, had gone rotten over time. Um, this section here was really was the worst affected by the original the, the, the fire caused by the vandals. Um, the roof of, of, of this carriage actually is canvassed on the outside. That was the original protection but of course um, the fire sinks simply just took that out and it also weakened the, the structure of, of the, uh, the framing of, of the carriage itself. But being oak, uh, oak uh, was more resilient to the, the, the damage so it's still got uh, a lot of its strength left. So as you can see, I mean this, this section was the first section that I worked on, which was a section down there. Initially, we thought it was just going to be uh, a re a re skin on the inside, a re-panel. But when the the uh, tongue and groove was taken out, all the frame was rotten underneath. So that was uh, the, the only piece of framing that we've needed to to replace. One thing about working on this is that when you realise that. The things that we see when you take the skins off of the original frame is probably the first time that's been seen in probably uh, since it was built in you know, 130 years ago. And 
you appreciate the skills of the Victorian workmen because they hadn't got the tools that we've got. And this whole carriage was basically hand-built. Frames, panels, everything was just hand-built with, with tools that were all uh, of the time. Uh, nothing was electric back then, so you can really appreciate the skill that was went into to building these carriages in the first, first instance. Well, we've repaneled all the doors inside now, uh, except the ones further up which the compartments. Um, can I just show you? Go. We work these 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 panels in here. This is how we get them. This is how it's come, and it's split, cracked, loose, you name it. So it's had to all come apart. The windows have all had to come out, bents everything, and put a new panel in there. Okay, new strips, whatever you need is new. We try and leave as much as we can as it came, uh, as it was made, but of course, there's a lot of it's rotten and you can't do anything with that. Uh, so we've had to replace a lot of these panels, not all, but a lot of them, uh, and the trims, and of course the windows. So the old, old type of windows, um, and we put, we've had to put, well, we put in new locks in when we get the locks, put those in. And we're now working on these panels with the doors. This has all got to come off today, okay? And, and then we're starting on the windows. Well, no, go back a bit. All the top edge of this has been was shaped and it was all rotten across the top from front to back. Uh, we still yet to do the other side. Um, but there was nothing really worth keeping, so we've removed all, all the old panel work and we've had to re machine, make a template and then cut each one, because they're all different sizes, different lengths, different sizes. And, and the, the joints like that, we've all had to go up. So they've gone onto the roof, and then down where all the joints are the, the glasses. So we had to make all those, put all those, which are now done, fortunately. And the next job, we're working on now are the windows. These are made by a gentleman who's not with us anymore, unfortunately. He's made all the opening windows and we've altered them slightly. We put runners, we put uh, edging down for the runners. Uh, and they these pull up and then drop with a leather strap. So uh, that, that was fun. Well, we've got us the leather strap. These are the old fashioned straps that we we put in on. Uh, show you how they go. Look. If I can get it in. Just go in. So that is in. Just go in. And then that comes out into the compartment and that pulls pulls the, the window up, hopefully. So we're working on that now. Uh, we've, then we've got to do the glazing, which we've got. We have to alter the, the glass, obviously. And we're working that on that on that now. Uh, the next job, though, we've got to treat this this wood, either varnish, paint, whatever, before it all goes together. So it's a matter of combining everything uh, and the time we have, which is only one day, 
two days a week. Uh, and I was getting it all to work. So it's coming on slowly. We've done quite a bit, but it, it's a slow job, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, it's, it's going well. I mean, we think it's, con considering what it was like three, four, five years ago, it's common treat. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoy seeing what we're, what we're doing here on this uh, grand old lady and if you haven't subscribed please tap the subscribe button. Tap the notification bell and, and we will uh, notify you when there's uh, another video available in this series and you can join us again in the future to see how we're getting on.